Okay, so walk around this, uh, well, what's this, T registration, so it's 1978-79, I think. Um, Land Rover Series 3 diesel um, pickup. It's been refinished in bronze green. We'll walk around it and point out the good bits and the bad bits. Um, it's got, from the front, uh, we've got lamp guards on the front, extra um, uh, spot lamps. Uh, front mounted or bonnet mounted spare wheel thing um, large it's got parabolic springs on this one so it sits uh, sits nicely um, it's also got a large set of what are they um, runway enduro tires certainly on this side I'll see if they're matching set I think they are actually um, big 16 inch ones on there um, it's got tow pack, it's got rear light guards as well. Okay, it's got a uh, work lamp up there. The bed of the um, pickup bed has been um, covered in checker plate. Uh, the modesty covers have been removed on both sides, so it sort of gives it the uh, slightly high rise look. Yes, there's a matching set of runway enduro tyres on there. Uh, yeah, modesty covers have been removed. It's got parabolic springs on it. It's also got overdrive. Um, and it's a diesel one. So, let's walk around it. It's been um, refinished, should we say. Looks like uh, by hand in bronze green at some point in the past. Um, although I think bronze green is its original colour. Uh, I'll have to check on the bonnet and uh, stuff for that. But I think it, uh, it was the same colour originally. Um, front bumper looks fairly new. The... Um, closing panel that goes across there has been removed. Don't really know why. Um, but paint, well, although it's say, soaking wet, I've given up waiting for it to be dry outside, so uh, um, we're just doing it when it's wet, this one. Um, around the, the bonnet and front end, it all looks reasonably good. It is slightly dented in just here on the um, near side... Uh, I don't know what, what you call that panel there actually, closing panel of some sort, not sure, but it is uh, dented there a bit, it seemed quite right to me like that. And I saw lots of Land Rovers, I remember that before. Um, <clears throat> looking down the near side, as I say, the modesty covers have been removed. Um, we've got a, a dent and a scuff just here on the front of the near side front wing, just there. Um, but aside from that, it's difficult to tell while it's wet, but it all looks uh, pretty much uh, nice and up together there. Looking inside, the chassis looks uh, very good from the, from there. Uh, up here around the, the top of the scuttle, it's obviously had some work here at some point. Um, but there's uh, a couple of very, very tiny pinholes just up there, but I mean pinholes. Just there, it's fine along the top of the scuttle there. So it's obviously had, had a bit of work on it at some point in the past, and there's it's sort of... I don't know if that's a crack or what we have around there or a bit that's been filled or something just on the corner there. Not really sure, but it's had some work there anyway. The rest of the A-post looks pretty good. Um, both the door tops are pretty new, about three or four years old, I think, from memory, according to the history. Passenger door, there's a couple of chips on it um, just down there, but no more than that. Inside, all pretty good, actually. As I say, passenger door is all nice, although clearly that was probably blue at some point, that passenger door. Um... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, floors have been uh, plated, it would appear, but uh, all nicely done there. Seats, so they're, they're deluxe seats, and they're in remarkably good shape, actually. No rips, tears, or anything. It just, uh, so just as it came in, came in part exchange just yesterday. Um, needs a bit of a clean, but uh, we'll obviously give it a vacuum before it goes out. But the interior is actually remarkably good. The seats are in excellent shape. Uh, dash is nice as well. So, yeah, nice interior on it, all round. Uh, Passenger door latch could be the fit could be slightly better on there. Um, rear wing slightly creased just there, uh, but not very much. But it has got a slight crease in it just along there. But uh, otherwise, near side rear wing is good. It's all nice in the back there in the um, in the in the bed. Uh, around the tail end, it's all fine. Cross member looks um, well. That looks fairly new actually. Let's have a look in there. I suspect it's had a rear quarter chassis on it at some point, looking at the back in there. 
but uh, quite nicely done. Very slightly frilly along the uh, the bottom edge just there, uh, and actually no, that side isn't. That side's not, not bad at all. That side's very slightly frilly along the the offside quarter, offside rear wing looks okay. Um, the worst bit on it is the driver's door really, where it's uh, it's obviously scraped against something at some point. Probably just need. I mean, you could just touch it in, I guess, really. But uh, it has creased. Uh, it's like a big parking scuff along there and it has sort of creased the door sli very, very slightly. Um, but there's sort of scuffing here, 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 here and here. But that's, that's about your lot really. Um, it just needs, uh, say, a, a little touch in. Wouldn't, wouldn't go amiss really. Front wing, we'll come back to that in a minute. But the front wing is fine there. Very slight depression just here in the usual place on the top of the offside front wing. Just there. Um, around the scuttle area, once again, it all looks pretty good actually. It's bubbling very slightly just here, but um, perhaps had a, a little bit of work there in the past, but um, pretty good actually. And down on the A post here, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, inside on the driver's side, once again, uh, it's in good shape. So lovely seats. Um, and door tops, so are pretty new. It's just nice. It's um, showing 7,000 miles. Clearly that isn't correct. It, it, by the look of the speedo, it has had a new speedo in it at some point. Um, so I don't know what the true mileage is, I'm afraid. But uh, uh, So we'll obviously be selling it as mileage known incorrect because uh, looking at that speedo, that is a very, very fresh one. That's about it. My name's Simon. I was one other thing, but look at the roof really because, yeah, as, as always, the roof's got a few minor dents in it just along the top there. They always do. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118-946-3352, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk.